Tobacco harm reduction is an increasingly important public health strategy that recognises the harm caused by smoking and supports the role that alternatives to cigarettes can play in reducing the negative health impacts associated with smoking cigarettes. At BAT, we are committed to tobacco harm reduction and have a clear purpose to build a better tomorrow by reducing the health impact of our business. To achieve this, we are focused on offering adult smokers a choice of alternative products that are scientifically substantiated as reduced risk compared to smoking cigarettes. Generating scientific evidence to support these alternative products is a priority at BAT. Robust data that allows regulators and consumers to have confidence in the quality and harm reduction potential of our new category products. We know that tobacco heating products are increasingly being used as an alternative to traditional cigarettes. Studies have shown that the emissions from these products contain significantly less harmful chemicals than cigarette smoke, resulting in less toxic exposure for users and those around them. But more data is needed, longer term data that can support this growing category. That's why we invested in our biggest ever clinical study on GLOW, BAT's flagship tobacco heating product. We now have the results from this groundbreaking study, which adds to the weight of evidence that supports that GLOW is a reduced risk alternative to cigarettes. The study shows that people switching from cigarettes to exclusive use of GLOW achieved a significant improvement in several biomarkers of potential harm that are thought to be predictive of disease development. These are indicators associated with lung disease, cancer, and cardiovascular disease. Not only did we see these significant improvements, but the results also demonstrated that the vast majority of these improvements were sustained over the 12 months of the study. This is a huge milestone for BAT and for the tobacco harm reduction community. It provides important new evidence to support GLOW and the tobacco heating product category as a whole. It helps to give consumers and regulators confidence in our products and the scientific evidence that supports them. It reinforces BAT's commitment and ability to deliver a better tomorrow by reducing the health impacts of our business. Now I'll hand over to Dr. Sharon Goodall, BAT's Group Head of Regulatory Science, who will walk you through the study and results in more detail. This is such an exciting milestone for us and for all those involved in tobacco harm reduction. This is the biggest and arguably the most important study we have undertaken for GLOW. It was a year-long randomised controlled study involving over 500 smokers. The participants were aged between 23 and 55 and were in good general health. They either did or did not want to quit smoking. The smokers who did not want to quit were randomised to either continue smoking cigarettes or switch to using only GLOW. Smokers who wanted to quit smoking were offered nicotine replacement therapy and access to a cessation counsellor. A group of never smokers was also included to act as a control group and continue to not use any tobacco or nicotine products. The study was designed to explore the risk reduction potential of GLOW when used in a real world setting rather than in a clinic controlled setting. This is a really important point to stress. The study involved real people in the real world, so the importance of what we've achieved here cannot be underestimated. Participants attended monthly clinic visits where samples of blood, urine and other measurements were taken. These samples were tested for biomarkers of exposure to selected cigarette smoke toxicants and biomarkers of potential harm. Of course, asking smokers to switch to a different product or stop smoking completely is a big change and we needed to ensure that people were compliant. For example, didn't smoke cigarettes in addition to using GLOW, which could have distorted the results. To help, we used a test called CVAL. This clever indicator within the blood tells us if someone has recently smoked cigarettes. This enabled us to ensure that our results were robust and not altered by dual use with conventional cigarettes. We believe this is the first time that CVAL has been used in this way. It is an important factor in our study that has allowed us to stand firmly and proudly behind our data. So on to the exciting bit, the results. Based on the biomarkers measured in the study, GLOW users showed a sustained significant reduction in a biomarker for lung cancer risk, a sustained significant reduction in white blood cell count, which is an inflammation marker indicative of cardiovascular disease and other smoking related diseases a sustained improvement in HDL cholesterol associated with reduced risk of CBD, a sustained improvement in pheno, which is an indicator of lung health, and a sustained improvement in a key indicator of oxidative stress, 
which is a process implicated in several smoking-related diseases such as cardiovascular disease. Not only did we see these favourable changes in the group of smokers who switched completely to GLOW, but we also demonstrated that they were sustained over the 12-month period, and we are delighted with these impressive results. Why? Because this shows us that the positive changes in the studied biomarkers experienced by those who switched are maintained and continued for the duration of the study. I'd like to thank everyone at BAT who contributed to this important study and to all those who took part in it. Together, we have generated important new evidence to support GLOW as a reduced risk alternative to cigarettes. This groundbreaking work reinforces BAT's commitment and ability to deliver a better tomorrow by reducing the health impact of the business. Thank you.